Amy here. 3,000 subscribers! Woo! <laughs> so, I have been getting ready for a pop up market that I'm having, or that I'm going to be in, on Saturday. So, I have been making stuff, doing things, designing patterns. All the fun stuff. Hopefully some more friends will come in. Hi friend! Alright. Currently I am working on a potion bottle. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Number fourteen. Hi, everybody! Right? Three thousand subscribers! It's amazing. It's crazy, is what it is. But I appreciate everybody for being for being there. <laughs> How you been doing, Brandon? Working hard, I'm sure. Five and six. So I am currently working on one of these super cool potion bottled dice bags. So I designed this pattern. Pretty good. Had a few days off. I'm good. I'm glad you've had some time off to just kind of chill. We're supposed to be getting some crazy weather tomorrow. I'm not really looking forward to it. Um, supposed to be like thunderstorms all day long. Not fun. Hey, everybody. Right? It's super cute. The top pops off and it's hollow on the inside. So people who play D&D or my idea. So I have a fairy costume. I'm going to make a green one. And when I go to Ren Fairs and stuff, I bring trinkets with me. And I have some really tiny little glass bottles that I fill up with sands, uh, with sand and other pretty stuff. And I'm going to put a bunch of them in the one that I'm going to make for myself. I mean, thunder Luna doesn't like thunderstorms, so I have been um, programmed to not like thunderstorms because she doesn't like thunderstorms. She gets real scared and shaky and tries to hide under the bed. And so, yeah, I'm not super big on thunderstorms because she's not good, not good with thunderstorms. Oh, but yeah. So that's why I'm not a a super big fan of thunderstorms. I used to love thunderstorms, but they affect Lou and it makes me sad. So yeah, right now I am making another one of these little potion bottles. I'm working on the body part of it. It's gonna be this really pretty like pinky purple. I want to make one in this green for myself. Ada doesn't mind. She's ch yeah. She's she doesn't she doesn't really. She's been bred into it. <laughs> she's like, oh, it's just a little bit of thunder. Luna loses her mind. I hate Fourth of July because 
of the fireworks and how it affects her. It makes me so sad. So yeah, new here, just came in. What's on your hook? I have a no so kitty. That's awesome. So I am in the process. So I just wrote a pattern for this super cute uh, potion bottle dice bag. Uh, hopefully in the next um, week or so, I'll have a tutorial up for it. Uh, it is hollow and you can put dice in it. You can put trinkets in it. I do a lot of Ren Fairs and stuff, so I'm going to make one in green for me for my costume. Um, but yeah, I should have a tutorial up within the week or so, hopefully. Life's been a little busy lately. That's why I haven't done in very many lives. But welcome. I'm so glad you're here. It's great to meet new friends. Um, but yeah, so look forward to the, the pattern posting that I'll or the tutorial I'll be doing. Um, yeah. Do you do a lot of like Ren Fairs or do you play D&D? Three, 24, 25, <laughs> 26, 27. Oh, I wish I could get it done faster. I will try. This week I have, it's crazy. I'm helping um, my, uh, my daughter's dance teacher um, do registrations this week. So the past two days have been me at the dance studio. I haven't had a chance to do anything else. I've got another day tomorrow. And then on Friday, I have, um, I have a photo shoot that I am doing. And Saturday, I have a pop-up market. And then Sunday, I have another photo shoot. So if I can squish it in there, I should be able to get it get it done. I think I have some, t some time tomorrow morning. I might be able to sit down and do some recording. Hey, Summer. It's good to see you, sweet pea. Thanks for being here. Five. Oh, nice. Thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, forty, forty-one. Decreased from forty-two. Yeah. So, it's double-stranded because you want it to be more solid than a single strand. So it's done with two strands and a G hook. Um, thanks so much for the tutorials. The yip yips are very, they are very popular. Yes. Last time I got a note for, um, I know, right? It's insane. It just, my subscriber fan base has grown like crazy. The 10 year old loves when I binge on <laughs> Nice. I've been making these little guys. Um, I should have a tutorial up for them too within the next few days um they are super fast it only takes like 10 to 15 minutes and they are adorable um i've got six of them over here five of them need to uh five of them need stuffing and to be closed up oh nice four octos that's awesome yeah my girls they get my first my first on most of the stuff that i create a few of my most recent videos are popping up with a couple extra days. Nice! That's awesome! I'm so glad. A couple hundred views. Woo! That's what we try for, isn't it? Just gotta, you gotta start somewhere. But that's, that's a big, that's a big deal. Super proud of you, pumpkin. Um, yeah, so... Uh, we've got a few more people in here. So on my hook tonight, I've got this shoot. I'm working on another one of these really cute potion bottle dice bags. So they're hollow. I should have a tutorial out for them within the next week or so. 
and I am making one in this really pretty like pinkish magenta color right now. All right, let's see here. He gets the first try. Right? Coming from the UK, it's 12.45 a.m. Oh my goodness, Emily, that is very, very, very late. Well, not very, very late. That's pretty late, though. 12.45, that's close to 1 o'clock. Um, I'm actually going to be traveling to Ireland soon, so it's going to be my first time out of the States. Uh, it's going to be really weird, but I'm super excited. Um, yeah. It's going to be, it's going to be fun. We're going to be in like Southern Ireland. Hey, Wendy. Welcome friend. It's good to see you in here. Um, but yeah, so we'll be in like Dublin, Killarney. We're going to be going all over the country, which is hilarious to say because here is ginormous and over in Europe, everything's so much smaller. It's going to be weird. Oh, I love Ireland. Bit chilly. Yes. So I'm in North Carolina. Um, I'm figuring that temperature wise, it's probably going to be like North Carolina winter, like late winter, probably like low 50s. Let me just say, girl, you looked great in that top. You know, thank you. <laughs> that it took a lot of courage <laughs> to, to, to put that on. Um, so yeah, uh, as to Ireland, we are going to have jackets. I got raincoats for both me, my daughters, my husband already had one. So we'll be bringing raincoats, um, all the warm, cozy clothing, because I have a feeling it's going to be chilly, but I did see that they have like 17 hours of daylight in May. And I was like, that's a lot of daylight. That's a lot. It's, it's going to be so much fun. I could have done that 15 years ago, but not now. <laughs> yeah, I'm, uh, I'm almost 42 and I was like, um, I don't know if you could see it in the, the short, but I was like, all right, all right, he, he, yay, cute, done. <laughs> nicely though it fit really nicely um I don't know if I'm comfortable enough in my body to wear it just as a shirt maybe at the beach but I don't think I don't think I could do it just you know put a pair of like wide leg bell bottoms on like high-waisted and then maybe the top with a hoodie over it like a, a zip-up jacket I think I could do that but and yes, raincoats are going to be needed. Yep, like 15 years ago. And yes, I <laughs> Oh my goodness. Yeah, that short, it was fun. Um, I do a lot of layers. Layers. I like a hoodie that has a zipper. Because if I do feel uncomfortable, I can just be like, I'm good. <laughs> oh, but yeah. Um. It's going to be, it's going to be fun going to Ireland. I'm hoping that I can put up some content while I'm there. Uh, my plan, if it goes to fruition, um, I want to, I want to visit at least one yarn store while I'm over there and I want to buy some yarn. Um, because when we go on vacation, if there's like a local yarn store, I always try to pick up a skein or two and then make myself something from it so I can remember, like, it's my own, um, it's my own thing that I got from somewhere. Like, when we went to Denver, I got a skein of yarn from a small shop in Denver, made a hat with it, and, you know, yeah, it's a great, it's, you know, just something to remember. Souvenir, thank you for that word. My brain was not finding it. <laughs> yeah, so it's, it's my own little souvenir that I can make for myself and yeah, it's good. It's something, something that I can keep and hold on to and be like this yarn I bought in Ireland and I made this super cute, like scarf hat, whatever. And just be like, so this is mine now. <laughs> so 
I make so much stuff for other people and for my business that being able to make something for myself, I'm like, okay, this is mine. I made this for me. Um, I don't know if y'all can see it, but right there is the, um, the thousand subscriber plaque that my daughter made for me 2000 subscribers ago. <laughs> she was like, you have to put it up somewhere behind you. So I put it there. It's hiding my black and beige and white yarns, like the big fluffies. Um, another thing that's going to be coming is a, I ordered some yarn from Hobby. I don't normally order yarn online because I want to touch it. I want to feel it. I want to make sure it's good. Um, all right. It's good. It was great seeing you, Emily. Thank you so much for hanging out. Um, I hope to see you again on, maybe I'll do a live that's a little earlier and I can, you know, touch base with all of my UK friends. Um, but thank you so much for being there. Yay. I'm so glad. <laughs> Get some sleep, sweets. Um, oh, thank you, Mac. <laughs> I'm trying to Mackie the best. All right. Yes, it is a lot of yarn. There's more over that way too. Um, and there's some on the floor. I recently did a, a video of a uh, bye, um, a yarn haul that I from of yarn that I got from Ollie's, and it's all on the floor right now. I haven't had a chance to put it up anywhere. Um, what was I going to say? I can't remember. It's okay. It'll come back. Um, hey, just got back from track practice. We have a meet tomorrow. Oh, good luck on your meet. Do you have a business I would love to buy? Um, I do have a business. Um, I have an Instagram and I have a Facebook and you can contact me on there. Um, I don't have a website yet, but that is in the plans. I'm gonna get bro. I don't know what that means. <laughs> um, but if you go to my Facebook or my Instagram, it's the same as my YouTube. It's little bitty noggins. Send me a message on there and um, you need some mods, girl. Oh, yes, I do. Well, I know Summer. Um, and I know Natalia. I know a lot of the friends in here. Um, but yeah. Hey, Cozy. Welcome. It's good to see. <laughs> like, I keep saying it's good to see y'all. It's good to see you're typing in the chat. <laughs> but I appreciate y'all being here. Um, the other day, so in one of the lives, I was talking with everybody about how the only Furl's Odyssey hook that I didn't have was the D hook because mine broke. I dropped it. You're going to cry. Why are you going to cry? Don't cry. Um, let me see. Did you get a chance to see the solar eclipse, by the way? Sadly, I didn't. I had to babysit my best friend's kid. Oh, no. I did get to see the eclipse. It was, we were very lucky. It was nice and, like, clear here. Um, we were not in the track of totality, but we got, I think it was, like, a 78% coverage. Hey, Tammy. Welcome, friend. Um, and it was amazing to see. Uh, back in 2017, my husband and daughters and I drove to South Carolina to be in the track of totality for that eclipse, and it was phenomenal. Um, so, you know, we weren't able to do that this year for this eclipse, but that's okay. We were still able to see what we could see, and it was awesome. Um, let me see here. Yes, the eclipse was really cool. Uh, we did a few different projects. We made um, Eclipse viewers out of cereal boxes. Um, oh, awesome. I'm so glad you were able to make and sell some. Those are, they're so fast. I love them. Hey, Molly. I hope you're doing good. Um, but yeah, we made the cereal box Eclipse viewers. And then we also took some sheets of paper and poked holes in it and then held it up and you could see the like the shadow of the eclipse 
over like through the holes in the paper so cool and we had our eclipse glasses from 2017 so we were able to like put the glasses on and look up there for short amounts of time it was really neat i love a good eclipse <laughs> So what have y'all been up to? It's been a little while since I've done a live. It's been, it's been a little while for sure. Um, I've just been crocheting things. I gotta go to church. I'll be back if you're still up. Okay, Shug, I'll see you later. I have a jazz festival tomorrow. So wait, you've got track, a track meet and a jazz festival tomorrow. Girl, you are gonna be, oh, Saturday. I was like, you are going to be a busy friend. <laughs> Didn't even get to see ABC News. It was, was all over it. Oh, no worries. Hey, it's Angela again. Hey, Angela. Oh, my goodness. So, Natalia, you are going to be super, super busy, huh? Mm -hmm. I am. I know those feels. Um. I've got a lot going on. Taking care of baby girl. She was sick with COVID. Oh no, double ear infection. Good grief. Y'all been sick. That's not fun. I'm glad you were able to sell some of those um, ice cream cones though. Those are, they work up fast. They're great to, you know, they're table fillers. And yes. What's the weather like up there? Um, here in North Carolina, currently it is dark. Um, but earlier today we had some rain and it was just kind of overcast. Um, my kids stole it. That's, that's what kids do. <laughs> they always do that. Um, my girls do the same thing. Uh, the weather, I want to say it was like earlier today, it was mid fifties, mid to upper fifties. It was nice kind of damp and humid uh, and the sun came out around like five-ish finally uh tomorrow though we're gonna be having some crazy thunderstorms rolling in and it's not gonna be fun i have to drive tomorrow to um to my daughter's dance studio thanks fairy Palin. appreciate you you're one of them girl thank you so much um but yeah, it's, it's, life gets busy and driving in the rain is not fun, but you do what you got to do, right? For sure. Um, let me see here. So tomorrow we've got thunderstorms. I have a pop-up market on Saturday and the weather is supposed to be gorgeous. I am so excited. Uh, it's supposed to be like mid 70s, sunny, and just, it's going to be great. Hopefully we've got a good turnout. I've got some new stuff to put on the table that I've been making, and it's it's good stuff. I have six of these little Octo guys here, these teeny ones, that need stuffing and to be stitched up. Let's see here. I'm actually planning to move to Michigan next Monday. Oh my goodness. So where do you live currently, Sunny Girl? Was it, did you live in North Carolina? I can't remember. I can't remember where you live. Um, that storm is bad. Be safe out there, right? I am not looking forward to the track of storms that are coming. Um, let's see here. What are they saying about the weather for tomorrow? Oh, geez. Severe storms tear 600 mile path from Texas to Florida. And that's coming here tomorrow. I don't want that. New York. That's right. So you are moving from New York to Michigan? Oh, my goodness gracious. That's a big, big move. Um, when I was 16, my family moved from Massachusetts to North Carolina, and that was, that was a lot. All right, so thunderstorms are supposed to start at 9 a.m. tomorrow and then go through until 7. 
but Friday and Saturday look like it's going to be beautiful. So that's good. So I got a real estate shoot on Friday and then pop-up market on Saturday and then another real estate shoot on Sunday. It's a lot. There's a lot, lot, lot going on. All right, so let's see here. Mm -mm -mm. All right, I have questions for y'all. Well, a question. Do you prefer to crochet smaller projects that work up quickly? Um, or do you like doing larger, more intricate projects that take a longer time or more you know, detailed and stuff small. All right, let's see here. To be honest, I don't mind rain that much. I know a lot of people hate rain. It was a storm and we had shorts and take, oh Lord. That's cold. Oh, hey Lindy. Small projects, okay, good to know, right? Same. I love a small project that I can get done quickly and have it there. Um, that's why it's taking, it's taken forever, forever, forever for me to be able to finish this hexagon cardigan. I've gotten half of it done. Not even half. It's like this part here. <laughs> My favorite crochet amigurumi to make. Probably, are have y'all seen the Deadpool video that I posted? Um, so those kind of like little superheroes or princesses, they work up quickly and they are like, they're quick, awesome, look cute. Those I think are my favorite things to make. Um, yeah, they work up really quickly. About to start some chickens. Woo woo. Crosby crochet kits rock and roll. Those chickens are so cute. I have seen them all over my feed. I'm like, oh my gosh. They're adorable. They look like they would sell, right? I might need to see if I can figure out a pattern for them. Hmm. Um, so I've got this on my hook right now. I created a pattern for this super cute potion bottle dice bag and that should be up on the on my youtube don't sell great for me and the granny squares i have a lot of trouble to of course i can absolutely i'll i'm gonna add that to my list um that can be in with the basic the basic stitches stuff because granny squares are, yeah, they can be a little tough. They look wonky sometimes. Like when you're, if you don't get your spacing correct, I will absolutely do a tutorial on how to make a granny square. It's a good idea. All right. Add to the list. I have so many lists. If I didn't have lists, I would be in deep trouble. <laughs> I bought myself a calendar to go above my desk in my office because I needed to have, I've got my list of things that I want to write patterns for. I've got things that I've already written patterns for, and I just need to record and edit and get things up there. And I've got other like brainstorm ideas that are up there also. And I've, I've been trying to keep myself on schedule. This week has not been a good week for that. <laughs> but hopefully the next couple of weeks, I know the week of the 14th through the 20th, I don't have anything on my schedule. So, oh, my name is Amy. Sorry. <laughs> yep, my name is Amy. Um, so you can just you can call me Amy. Uh, my name is spelled a little weird, but you can just use A-M-Y. It's easier that way. Um, it's spelled A-I-M-E-E, -E, uh, but it's easier to type A-M-Y. <laughs> uh, 
Um, but yeah, so the next two weeks, the 14th through the 27th, uh, I am in North Carolina, right outside of Raleigh. Um, so the next two weeks, I don't have a lot on the calendar, so I'll be able to sit down. My plan is to record a bunch of videos, edit a bunch of videos, and then set up, um, you know, some planned releases throughout the next few weeks. Uh, this way life can be a little bit easier you know i always have the hardest time with shorts hey kimberly thank you yes three thousand subscribers it's amazing i'm super excited although my cousin's sister's name is amy it must be a common name or something i mean it was pretty popular when i was a kid um of course, that was a long time ago. I mean, not a long, <laughs> making eyeballs for my gifts, woohoo! Um, but yeah, there were a couple of Amy's in my classes. Um, my stepmom's name is Amy. And then there's, I know a couple of other Amy's, but they don't spell their name like I do. My, my mother had to be fancy. My dad wanted my name to be Amy. My mom wanted my name to be French. So they smushed the two things together and I am Amy spelled the French way. It's okay, don't worry, Wendy. You can send me photos whenever and just shoot them on over to my Facebook or my Instagram. Um, yeah, I'm always, it's, it's, it's always there, no worries. Um, but yeah, it's been, it's been a good day. Woke up this morning and had 3000 subscribers. Uh, what are you doing? I am crocheting. So right now I am working on one of these potion bottle dice bags that I wrote a pattern for. Um, and I'm making it in this pretty pinky purple color. I guess it's more like fuchsia. Um, and then I've got it in this purple sparkly, which is super pretty. So that's what I'm working on right now. I'm fitting to change colors soon. Um, go from the pinky purple to gray. Hey, dancing fairy. Welcome, friend. So glad to see you in the chat. I hope you've had a great day. Didn't realize you were on Facebook. I must have. It's, I always put it in the um, in the description along with any of the things that I like links to any of the things um that i use in the patterns should i subscribe i mean if you want to it's completely up to you i wouldn't say no i i love my subscribers y'all are the best i wouldn't be here without you and here you're my friends uh hopefully here soon i'm gonna be um putting up some memberships um and I'm still trying to figure out what goodies I can offer y'all in the memberships. So I'm working on that as well. <laughs> um, but Ellen Mel, um, if you want to subscribe, please do. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to be looking for you. Okay, cool. Please do. You'd follow me on there also. Uh, I appreciate you. Thank you so much. You are awesome. Uh, so do you crochet L and Mel? Maybe, maybe not. If not, I have lots of cool tutorials on basics and stuff. L and Mel, you'll get notified when she uploads new stuff. Yes. Make sure you hit the bell. I've had a few people who, um, when I posted a short for the Yip Yip, um, lip balm holder they were like when like because I didn't put the date that it came out I just said Thursday they were like can I get it early and it was the week after I had already posted it and I was like it's already out and they were like oh well why didn't I get notified and I was like hit the bell <laughs> if you hit the bell you'll get notified of all of the things oh Emily can't sleep. I'm so sorry. 
That is the most difficult thing when you are trying to go to sleep, but you can't. Do you have work or school in the morning? That was me. <laughs> Who's you, Wendy? <laughs> are planning to have like merch is on your channel soon? Amy, just wondering. I would love to buy some for me. That would be an that's an awesome idea. I'll have to figure out how to do that. Um, yeah, that is too funny that that was you, Wendy. <laughs> no worries. Hit the bell, though. This way you'll get notified when all of the things are up there. I was like, am I not your friend? <laughs> I mean, you're my friend. You just, sometimes YouTube is weird. I still appreciate them, but... If you hit the bell, you always get notified. Don't, no, don't worry. I'm on my Easter. Oh, thank goodness. That's good. No school or work tomorrow. So if you do end up going to bed late, then you can sleep in. That's good. I am super glad for that. You're totally my friend. YouTube's just silly sometimes. Um, let's see here. Pull that back up. There it is. I have like, how many? There's four there, five. I have six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 15 different notepads open with different, how long ago did you start your live? Uh, 36 minutes and 52 seconds ago. So not too long ago. I got home and had dinner and then sat down and I was like, I need to do a live. All right, let's see. I promise. I promise it's on. <laughs> no worries. Technically challenged here as well. I crochet like a pro, but when you put me in front of like, I don't know if y'all have noticed, but I do a lot of vertical lives because it's easier to run on my phone than it is going from OBS studio to uh, YouTube to all of the other things. I'm like, all I have to do is set my phone on this tripod and I push start. <laughs> That's it. It's so much easier. Oh, thanks. <laughs> I try to keep it light in here. Because, you know, life is hard enough. You don't want to go to the internet to have you know, more tough. You want it to be light and fun and just mellow. What am I done with Easter break? Not so. What am I am? Oh, sh you're done with Easter break. Hey, crocheting besties. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Easter break for us was last I have to think. It was the week before Easter. So not last week, but the week before. Um, I would like to do a channel, but I would get so frustrated trying to make it work. <laughs> Can crochet my heart out though, just like you, right? I am right now working on a potion bottle dice bag. So it looks like this when it is done. This is the little basket part. I'm going to be changing colors here soon. Yours was last week. Um, yeah. I wish. Oh, so we homeschool. Um, I have not tried macrame. Are a fan of Disney or Pixar movies. I probably watched Toy Story 3 like 20. I always cry at the end because Andy is saying goodbye to all of his toys. Yeah, right. I do love Disney and Pixar movies. Um I am a Disney classics kind of girl. I was raised with like Lady and the Tramp, Robin Hood, um, you know, the the more classic Disney movies, but I love Moana and I've loved, oh, there are so many, so, so many. Um, and I also love the little Pixar shorts. All of the Pixar shorts are so cute. Um, the uh i think my favorite pixar short is the lava the volcano one that one makes me cry every single time i watch it 
Uh oh, truth or dare? Um, I don't know where this is going. <laughs> I love it. You is the name. It's so sweet. I love it. Um, yeah. Is it common for people? Hold on. I gotta scroll back to be able to make their own patterns. I just started Amagurumi in October, but can't imagine coming up with this stuff. It is possible. Like it's, I don't know if it's common. Um, I've been crocheting for 25 years. Um, and only, I guess I wrote my first pattern about 16 years ago and it was for a baby hat that I had made for my daughter and I like wrote the pattern, started selling those at markets and stuff. That's where the name Little Bitty Noggins came from because I made a hat for her Little Bitty Noggin. Um, but only recently have I started writing like full on patterns and I have found that I have my own way of writing the pattern and only, I think only I would be able to understand it in like my shorthand. And then once I'm done with the shorthand and I've tested it a couple of times, I write it in a full pattern. Um, so it is, it depends on how much, um, how much experience maybe you've had writing patterns. Um, it's not super difficult if you are fluent in reading patterns and aren't, you know, scared to test things and retest things and retest things. Um, I would watch a tutorial once and then remember. That's nice. I wish I could do that. <laughs> I sit there. I think I've watched so many YouTube videos on like how to make things and all that stuff. And then I was like, oh, I'm going to try to do that. Um, did my daughter have a frozen phase? Um, so my daughters are 16 and 11. My oldest didn't really, like, she's not ever been much on movies or cartoons and stuff like that. She is her father's daughter. She is a video game girl, um, and has been since she was teeny tiny. Um, my younger daughter, the 11 year old, she had a little bit of a frozen phase. Like, I think we watched the movie a few times, um, but she's, you know, she would rather sit and draw or color or do art or make all sorts of paper mache stuff. She is my little, she's my little artist. Um, is this knitting or crochet? I crochet. I can't knit to save my life. I wish I could knit, but I have tried and it doesn't work. My two hands do not work together with needles and yarn. It just doesn't work. Can you show me your favorite picture? My favorite picture of what? Hmm. What is my favorite thing to crochet? Just about anything. I like your hair. Oh, thank you. It's just, it's just a half ponytail. <laughs> of your kids together. Um, I don't really show uh, pictures of my kids on here. If one of them wants to come up and say, hey, that's fine. Um, but I don't really show photos of my girls. Um, my favorite thing to crochet. I crochet just about anything. My favorite thing to crochet, though, is probably... Mm, I kind of like making hats. That's what started this. Um, oh, no, you're fine. No worries. Um, you know, it's, it's up to them whether or not they want to be um, shown off online, I guess. Like we don't, I don't really show off pictures. Like I post a few on my private Facebook page, but that's really it. And the only people on my private Facebook page are friends and family. Um, I loomed hats too. And then I got interested in crochet. That's perfect. 
You need to boot. Stop being nice. <laughs> I appreciate you, Wendy. <laughs> My friend crochets. Nice. That's awesome. I'm glad that your friend crochets. You should learn. It's super fun. You can make all kinds of cool stuff when you when you know how to crochet. Make stuffies, plushies, cool little containers, purses, all sorts of things. You have to learn how to crochet a hat for a bear that has ears that will fit through. I'm thinking a little dog hat. Aw! You have to learn. Okay. Um, that shouldn't be too hard if, all right, so for a bear, anyway, by Amy, I'm going to cook fried rice and have some, all right, well, enjoy your yummy food. Do, I think it would work. Okay, so for a teddy bear, hat for a bear that has ears that will fit through, that should work. Like, just see if you can find a dog, pat, like a dog hat pattern. Um, you're going to want to test, like, just make sure you have the teddy bear there that you are making. Um, and then, you know, just make sure that everything's fitting where it needs to fit and it should work fine. A nine inch bear in our town is a little free class to learn how to loom, crochet, and knit. It's once a month and they provide all the items. That is amazing. I love that. Show me your favorite tad. I don't know what that means. Um, I really should go now, but I have enjoyed and will be back. Awesome. Thank you so much for being here. Use a cat pattern. That's a good idea too. Teddy bear. Oh, she taught you how to crochet. Cool things. It's nice to have more professional. <laughs> I don't know if you'd call me a professional. <laughs> I appreciate you though. Um, but yeah, I would try, you know, see, sorry, teddy bear. Um, I, let me see here. Is Winnie the Pooh back there still? Oh, there's a teddy bear up there. Uh, right there. That's my favorite teddy bear. Gotcha. I used to have a Winnie the Pooh, like a little Winnie the Pooh back there too, but it's not there anymore. Um, okay, bye Natalia. Let's see here. All right, yeah. So teddy bear, winner. Um, but yeah, so just easy things, but I don't remember how to crochet. Oh, well I have, a bunch of tutorials on your basic crochet stitches in the um in my playlists if you check those out it'll tell you how to chain stitch how to um slip stitch single crochet double crochet half double crochet and treble crochet and there's also one in there for increases and decreases which are very important if you are making amigurumi my grandmother taught me the basics for blankets about 40 years ago, but since doing amigurumi, I've learned to write. It's crazy how different things are. My grandma crochets. Nice. That's awesome. You should see if she can teach you how to crochet. But yeah, definitely check out those videos. Um, if you want to do small projects, uh, once you learn the basics, like single crochet, the only thing that's used for these little ice creams is single crochets and single crochet increases and decreases. And I don't know, is there a half double? I think there might be a half double in there. Um, have you a crochet pillow to sleep with? I don't. Um, I don't have a crochet pillow to sleep with. Um, I would have to find a very soft yarn because any sort of like scratchy yarn doesn't feel good on my skin. Um, I'm going to look for you on Facebook. Thank you for everything. Of course, Kimberly, thank you for, for looking for me on Facebook. And, uh, if you haven't subscribed, please do. Oh, and my sister. All right.
why is there a stereotype that only older people crochet and knit? It's so annoying. I am young and people in school call me a granny. Those people just don't know. They don't know how cool it is to crochet, like how much stuff you can make, how cool the things that you can make with crochet are. Have you crocheted a flower? I have, I've crocheted a few different kinds of flowers. Um, I actually made a friend of mine, she was marrying my husband's cousin. Um, I made her bouquet of crocheted flowers. Her mother had passed away a few years prior to me meeting her. And there were a lot of flowers at her mother's funeral. So she had a very, very hard time being around flowers because it brought up sad memories. And I was like, you know what? Every bride needs a bouquet of flowers on her wedding day, whether they're real or fake or crocheted. So I crocheted her um, a bridal bouquet. Oh, no worries, Ellen Mel. No worries. Um, so yeah, I've I've crocheted I've crocheted flowers before. Was there a specific kind of flower you were thinking about? Yeah, it was it was really sweet. You're very sweet. <laughs> Thank you, Sophie. <laughs> um, but yeah, I. I try. Oh, I'm back. Sorry, guys. That was really weird. YouTube just like booted me off for a second and then. Are y'all still there? I'm so sorry. I don't know what just happened. I see all the hearts and the loves. I appreciate y'all. I don't know what just happened. It all just like shut down. And then like the opening screen came up with like the little red bar and it was like YouTube. I'm like, ah, what just happened? Um, so yeah, sorry about that. Okay. Oh no. Is it still lagging? I don't know why my internet is fine. I'm glad you're still there. <laughs> is everybody else still there? <laughs> I'm going to plug my phone in real quick just to make sure that it's not that. All right. I see 12 people in the in the little thing. No. Uh-oh. All right. Cool. Glad I'm not lagging anymore that was that was scary like i've had it to where it's like gone black and white and then been like you're live again but never where it shut down completely and then brought it all back up Whew. good grief i put my crochet hook down for all of that <laughs> hey cindy welcome friend oh my gosh technology man I'm telling you I don't even remember what I was talking about now no thanks Sophie you're very sweet oh yeah we'll fi I'll figure it out I was talking about something and now I can't remember what's my favorite color yarn my favorite color yarn is pretty much anything in here let's see i'm gonna slide y'all this way in these five boxes here so greens teals turquoises blues all of those pretty colors those are my favorite there we go um i love as you can see there's a lot of that back there and there's a lot of it on the wall too my favorite type of yarn. So I think the most versatile yarn is a worsted weight because um, you can make a lot, a lot of stuff with a worsted weight. There's only so much you can do with the like plushy yarns and stuff like that. But with a worsted, if you use multiple strands together, it gets, it gets bulkier. Um, 
yes, it has to be soft. It has to be soft. Um, I struggle a little bit with the old, um, the old Red Heart Super Saver. That's kind of like scratchy acrylic. The newer stuff, the newer like version of the Red Heart Super Saver. Um, I am making a potion bottle. Sorry. So this is what it looks like. I'm going to have a tutorial coming out for it within the next week. It is a potion bottle dice bag. So the little cork comes off. Uh, my plan is to add a strap here so we can hook it to a belt or, you know, whatever. And it is, uh, it's hollow. So you can put dice in it. Um, I plan on using the one that I make for myself. So I do a lot of uh, cosplay like as a fairy. I dress up as a woodland fairy, got wings, cute little green and brown outfit, um, and I hand out trinkets to kids. So I have like little stones, little glass bottles that have sand in it or glitter in it, um, mm -hmm. just super cute little little trinkets for, for kidlets. You sell your crochet product, projects. I do. I do pop-up markets in my area. Um, and I also do, um, like personalized orders and stuff like that. If you message me on Facebook or Instagram, uh, I'm little bitty noggins on there as well. Um, we can talk about what I can make. And you can also see the, some of the things that I've made on my Instagram and Facebook. Um, so yes, I do sell my crochet projects, but some of them are just me or my kids or my husband. Um, my favorite thing that I have ever crocheted, period, end of story, is, that's a hard one. I've been crocheting for so long. Um, probably, I made a very, like, a very large Grogu, who was, it was really cool. Um, that was fun. It took a long time. Um. And how much? Oh, I've been crocheting for 25 years. Um, I also have this hat that I made over here. It's got glow-in-the-dark mushrooms on it. And it's a pattern by the Twisted Hatter, I believe. Hold on. I'll grab it. Don't mind my mess behind me. I did not clean my table. Oh, all right. Here is the hat all right I'm gonna fix the little so the mushrooms glow in the dark and then on the underside it's got this ribbing that looks like the underside of a mushroom so yeah think that's probably one of my favorite makes that I've ever made. I made it for me. No one else is allowed to have this hat. <laughs> Thanks. Oh, hello, friend. Welcome back. Let's see here. Dancing fairies back. Did y'all get booted when I got booted? Because I got booted. And then they let me come back. Um, but welcome back. Thank you for coming back. I appreciate you. YouTube was struggling. Um, but yeah, so that, I think that's probably one of my favorite things. I've also made, it's not up here. I made, so my fairy costume, I'm a woodland fairy. So my wings are iridescent green um, oak leaves. There are two, two of them on each side. And then I've got these little things that come up above them. And my outfit's browns and greens. And I made a little belt for myself that's got a bunch of chain stitched, like tassels all over it. Um, so that goes around my waist. And I usually cinch, like once I make the one, yes, fairy. Mm -hmm. So I do a lot of cosplay as a fairy. Um, I have a picture. I think I put it up on my YouTube page 
of me and my, I don't remember if my daughter was on there. I think it was just, no, Ellie was on that picture. I, I asked her if she wanted to be on, like, was okay if I put her on there. Um, but you can see my wings and my outfit. I try to do a lot of um, my own creations for my costuming, um, just to show off for myself. <laughs> okay, Sophie, no worries. Have you a cr have you crocheted a butterfly? Um, I have crocheted a butterfly. I actually recently saw in one of my the Facebook groups that I'm in these crocheted there was a crocheted luna moth and the woman who made it didn't have a pattern for it she freehanded it so i was like all right well i took a screenshot and i was like i'm gonna see if i can make this welcome back <laughs> um but yeah i love making things for my costume like piecemealing things together i made my wings um I make my skirt, my hats, my wreaths when I wear flower crowns. I make those. Um, it's very good that you make sure that your kids are comfortable. Yes. I don't want to force them on there. You might see my younger daughter. She comes into my office sometimes and pops in and she's like, hi. But that's really about it. They They have to give their permission to, you know, for me to post pictures that kind of thing. All right, Dancing Fairy, it was good to see you. Thanks for hanging out. Bye. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, they, it's, you know, their, it's their face, their likeness. They've got to be comfortable with, you know, being where they're, where they want to be. Um, but yeah, so if you go to my community page on YouTube, uh, three photos down. So from three weeks ago, I posted a photo of me and my younger daughter at um, the Festival of Legend here in, um, where was it last year? In Apex. Uh, and we are with a gorgeous puppet dragon. Um, and... It was, it was so much fun, but there's a picture on there if you want to see the fairy costume. <laughs> have you crocheted a scarf? I, I have crocheted lots of scarves. I made a bacon and egg scarf once. So it was little fried eggs, like a bunch of fried eggs with pieces of bacon in between the eggs. That was fun. Um... I've crocheted a lot of things. Welcome back, Miss Halia. Good to see you, my dear. Um, but yeah, there's there are lots and lots of things that I have crocheted in my life. So wait a second here. So three weeks ago, I had 900 subscribers. And now I'm at, just had to tell my friend, oh, stuff going on, huh? <laughs> <laughs> are you made a hunger I don't know what that is hunger is when you need to eat <laughs> scoop myself forward a little bit Let me see here. Congrats. Oh, thanks, Kylie. I appreciate you. All right, there we go. Put my put my boppy on so my arms can be a little bit more comfortable while crocheting. It's difficult crocheting this right now because I'm focusing on answering questions and stuff. And for this pattern, you kind of have to pay attention to the count. I meant you may. Oh, with a bacon and eggs. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, my goodness. All right, let's see here. There we go. With a little bit of. Actually, you know what? I just got a new light. So I am going to use that because I keep using 
my computer screen to light my face up. Oh, Jesus. Nope, wrong way, wrong way. There we go. That's better. I was blindy. All right, that's better. All right, I think I might put this down because I don't want to count. And I started the second half of my hexagon cardigan. Welcome back. Um, earlier today, while I was at my daughter's dance studio. So I've got the first half of it. Move a couple of things real quick so I can pull it out without knocking everything over. My desk is a bit cluttered. All right, here we go. Hello! So here's the first half of it. I love my pillow like that. Oh, you've got a um, granny square pillow. So here's the first half of the cardigan. Which way does it go? Like this. So that's there. And then the second half. Oh, I got to be careful. I was pulling stitches out. The second side is here. So that's, I worked on that a little bit today while I was at the studio. And it's kind of mindless. Granny squares, you know. All right, Kaylee. Well, thank you for hanging out. Appreciate you. Oh, I've, cr I've crocheted so many things for my kids. <laughs> um, I don't make a lot of blankets. I don't like big projects. I lose interest in them very quickly. Um, bye, Shug. See you next time. Um, but both of my daughters have, let's see here. Evie has her baby blanket that I made for her. And then she has a larger blanket that I made for her when she was about 10 or 11 years old to go on her bed. It's about a, I think it's about a twin size blanket that I made for her. Um, and then my younger daughter, she has a baby blanket that I made for her. And she has so many stuffies and plushies and things that I have crocheted for her. Um, and yeah, it's, it's ridiculous. They usually get at least the first two things of a new pattern that I'm creating or, you know, just whatever I make. Ellie will come in and be like, mom, I want that, but I want it in this color. I'm like, okay, chill. I got you. Just let me finish these ones first. But yeah, I make a lot of things for my girls and my husband. Um, I've made him a lot of stuff. He has a Mario mushroom granny square blanket that I've made for him. Um, he's got, I made him a hollow knight, um, like amigurumi. Um, I've made him a green, um, a crocheted game boy, like old school game boy. Um, what else have I made him? My favorite project that I've made, I answered this question, but I will show you my favorite thing. Hey, Lenny. My favorite project that I've made is this hat. The mushies glow in the dark. I think I might wire the brim so it doesn't flop as much. I have more mushrooms that I need to put on it. And it's crazy how much um, the uh, the sides here dampen sound. It's a lot. Um, have you ever, have you crochet some clothes if you can? Okay, so I don't do a lot of wearables um, clothing wise. I did a short where <laughs> I, uh, I've only ever made two tops in my life. Um, 
and I did a short on the first one that I made. It's in my, uh, it's on the YouTubes. Um, and it was just like a cute little festival halter top. And I made that. Um, and then I'm making this, which is going to take forever because I get sick of it and then put it down and forget about it and then find it and then work on it some more. Um, but yeah, I, uh, how tall are you? If you're good answering, um, I am five foot five. That's a weird question. Um, yeah, not super tall, not super short. But yeah, I do a lot of crocheting. Um, I recently got a new chair that's more comfortable to sit in while I crochet. And then I made this thing that like their little foam arms that go on either side of me. So I can rest the boppy pillow on it and my arms are more comfortable while crocheting and I don't have to like scrunch up my shoulders and get all tight. So that's not fun. That's that's fun stuffs. So right now I'm just working on a hexagon cardigan that I've been working on for months. Um, it's easy to just sit here and crochet double crochets and then make sure I do two sets of double crochets in the corners with chains in between. Uh, thanks, Olivia. Sorry, I missed that comment. Let's see here. One more. So how have everybody's allergies been treating them this spring? They have been vicious down here in North Carolina. Oh, that's what I was talking about. I will sleep on that chair if I had that. <laughs> I got one of the chairs that's like extra wide so I could sit crisscross applesauce if I wanted to. Um, and now it's all cozy and comfy and I'm just like, all right, this is nice. Before my chair was not comfortable. Um, I was talking about the things that I had made for my husband. Made him the Game Boy, the Hollow Knight. Oh, I've made him a Super Meat Boy. That one was fun. A Super Meat Boy. That's one of his favorite games to play. You're going to be sleeping, snoozing in the chair. That's one thing. It doesn't have, like, a high back, so I don't have to worry about, like, nodding off with my head like leaning up against the back of something, I'd be like, <laughs> or arms on my desk like this. Sleepy night night time. I have a, uh, a cozy like couch bed over here that I sleep on if I get, if I get sleepy. It's very comfy. He's got all the pillows and all of the, all of the cozy things. That's one thing that I have not made for myself is a blanket. Make everybody else the blankets, but not me. That's okay. I'd rather, I'd rather buy a blanket than make one for myself. <laughs> I never want to put myself through that. All right. So I see we've got a couple of new friends in here. It says there are 10 people in. They must just be chilling. Just sitting there watching crochet. I appreciate you hanging with me, Alexa. <laughs> I will answer all of your questions if you have any. Um, if you don't, that's okay too. 
I could ask you questions. What's your favorite thing to crochet? Or everybody, what are y'all's favorite things to crochet? Do you like? Okay. <laughs> do you like small projects or do you like large projects that take a while? I am a small project girl. Another friend in here earlier. Oh, thank you, Joanne. I appreciate you. Do you guys, all right, so I like instant gratification. I like small projects that give me that dopamine boost when I finish them. So that's why a lot of my videos, um, a lot of my videos are smaller projects. Um, oh, good night, Cindy. Thanks for hanging out. My favorite to crochet is hats and shawls and blankets. Girl, you are... That is awesome. I like to have both handy. All right. Um, I don't make a lot of blankets and I've made a couple shawls, but I'm that girl who's like, give me a tiny amigurumi that I can make in 15 to 20 minutes or something that I can finish in, in like an hour because I want to hold it in my hands and be like, I did it. Put it down. Dopamine. Woo. I have a really hard time. Um, I'm actually enjoying making these eyeballs. <laughs> All the eyeballs. Um, yeah, the, are you making the bigger yip yips, Wendy? Because those eyeballs are way easier to make than the eyeballs for the smaller yip yips. For sure. The smaller yip yips. I was sitting in there recording that video and I was like, you just got to have patience. Just got to be patient with yourself. Talk into the camera. <laughs> and I was talking to y'all, but also talking to myself. What was the first thing you crocheted with you remember? Okay, so the first thing I crocheted was a baby blanket for a friend's sister. So I was, I was like 16 or 17. Um, and um, I was dating a guy who had a little sister who loved playing with baby dolls. And I made her a baby blanket for her baby dolls. I went and bought the like multi-tonal red heart baby yarn that's like super soft and pastel and gorgeous. Been quiet analyzing the comments. Some of them are a little weird. Um, and that was like the first big-ish project that I made. Well, I gotta go. I just wanted to pop in and tell you congrats and God bless. Oh, thank you so much, Joanne. Thank you for being one of them. And I wouldn't be here without y'all. You guys are the best and I appreciate your support and you know, you watching my videos and interacting with me on these lives. Thank you so much. Y'all are the best. Um, <laughs> um but yeah, so that was the first thing that I ever, like, first big project I ever made. Like, I would sit there and make double crochets and chains and all that kind of stuff. Hey, Gianna, thank you for hanging out with me. It's nice to see you in the chat. I hope you are having a great night. All right. You're crocheting as well. That is awesome. What are you making? I'm working on a hexagon cardigan. This is my first time ever making one of these. A bunny, oh, awesome. Bunnies are cute. Cute and fluffy. 15 eyes and 20 blind yips so far. So you need, no worry, Alexa. Thank you for 
We're hanging. I'm trying to find stuffing. Do you have it in your house and it's just somewhere and you can't find it? Because that happens. I'm so happy for you. This That is so awesome. I'm doing a market tomorrow, so I need to get back to crocheting, but have a great night. Look forward to more. Awesome. Good luck with your market tomorrow. You're going to do great. It's going to be awesome. Sell all the good stuff, girl. <laughs> um, let me see here. What was I saying? Okay. So you have 15 eyes and 20 blind yips. So you need 40 eyes for those yip yips. It's a lot of eyeballs. You're going to need to buy more, um, more safety eyes. <laughs> oh, all right. Let's see here. Pull that out. All right. It's funny, things are going in waves. Like there'll be a bunch in the chat and then it gets a little sleepy quiet. And that's okay. Because while it's sleepy quiet, we just crochet. It's fun. Oh no, I have enough eyes to last. Oh good, that's good. Hopefully you got the big pack. Let's see here. I need to buy more six millimeter eyes. Um, I've been making these little octos. So I got a grabbing, a grabber machine for my pop-up markets. I got this. Oh, you can see my light and my screen. There we go. And my plan is to make a bunch of these little guys and put them in there and then have people pay, like, you can, you can play until you win, basically. Play till you win. And these are going to be in there for them to use the grabber machine and get it. I like all. Nice. I like all two, all projects. I think that's what might be the question that you're answering. Let's see here. Why am I yawning? I took a nap today. I should not be yawning. I should not be sleepy. What am I doing? That's what I'm doing. All right, 3,018 subscribers. That's magical. Y'all are magical. Oh, I went my hook. Oh, I've been crocheting with the wrong hook. For how? Oh, definitely that row. Mmm. Back, Amy, do you have any pets, by the way? Maybe you can crochet something for them. So I do, I have a dog. Her name is Luna. And she, I don't know, try not to crochet much for pets. I mean, you can make like cat toys and stuff, but doggies. Oh, hi, Loon. Thanks. Oh, you might be able to see her. There, Luna. There she is. There's the Lou. What you doing? What you doing? You the goodest girl. She's like, okay, I have made my appearance. Now I'm gonna go out to, out, out the door. <laughs> that was Luna. Um, but I have not crocheted anything for dogs because dogs can sometimes be destructive. Luna's not a destructive dog. But polyphil and puppies sometimes or doggies don't doesn't mix well sometimes. Oh Lord. 
Oh, but yeah. So I do has, I have a dog. And here in about 30 minutes, she is probably going to come back and be like, because she wants to go on her walkies. All right. Just had to rip out that entire round. Aw, she's so cute. She is sweet. My uncle, your uncle's dogs don't get along well with other dogs. Aw. Luna is very picky about who she gets along with other dog wise. Um, on our walks, there is a house on one of the corners that leaves their dog outside most of the day when the weather's nice because the dog likes to be outside. And Luna and her, it's so weird. Like one day they're best friends and they're running on either side of the fence with each other, just playing and ha hanging out. And then the next day, like the next day, they're barking and growling at each other. Like they don't even know who the other is. It's weird. Dogs are strange. All right. She's a good girl though. She doesn't tear anything up. She d doesn't have accidents. She's very sweet. The only thing she demands is for her nighttime walks. That's about it. She's a good girl. All right. Well, we're getting back on track here. Cannot believe I was using the wrong hook that whole round. Who am I kidding? Yes, I can. <laughs> Sitting here crocheting away. Let's see, there we go. All right. Let's check something here. All right. All right, guys, I know there's four people in here, it says. What is your favorite crochet stitch or technique that you use most often? Like, what's your go-to crochet stitch? I've always wanted a golden retriever, but unfortunately my mom is scared of all. But dogs are the best. I mean, I guess if you've had trauma in the past, that makes sense. Um, when I was like 11, I got bit by a dog right there. My own dog bit me. Um, but I can't imagine my life without doggies. Luna is my shadow. She's a good girl. It's a mite bit quiet in here, guys. Just, just relaxing. All right. Need some like chill music going on in the background. I think that might be my next to find a good channel that has royalty free music that we can just have playing in the background. Does she hate going to the vet? Yes. Lou does not like the vet. She also doesn't like going to the groomers. So we don't really do a lot at the groomer. Um, we brush her. We cut her nails here. Um, but going to the vet, she is not a fan of. Not at all. When she was a puppy. Oh my gosh. So we had had her probably two months. And she likes to chew sticks. That is her thing. She loves to chew sticks. She'll go in the backyard, find a stick, chomp down, breaks to bits. When she was a puppy, 
she bit down on a stick both of the sides broke off and she was left with a piece of stick the exact same shape as the roof of her mouth stuck up in the roof of her mouth $350 later the vet had to put her under and pry the stick out of the roof of her mouth it was ridiculous and ever since then she has not liked the vet at all. She do not like it. But it's okay. She's a pretty healthy pup. The only thing we ever have to worry about is she... <laughs> she doesn't normally steal food. Um, like human food. But she loves chicken wings. And not just like whole chicken wings, but like chicken wings that have already been eaten and the bone is the only thing left. And she will hunt them down. Like if you leave a plate anywhere within her reach that has chicken bones on it, it'll be gone. And chicken bones aren't the best thing for doggies to eat. So whenever she does that, we have to feed her pumpkin to bulk up her, the stuff in her belly. So she's able to digest the bones properly. It's, oh, it's a lot. I still don't like needles, even though it doesn't hurt, I guess. It just looks scary or something. I mean, shots are never fun. Um, my daughter's pediatrician um, a few years ago, gave me this thing. It's actually right there. It's called a shot blocker. Oh, let's see, can I reach it? I'm supposed to keep this in my wallet. Basically, it's this piece of plastic that ha has all these sharp, pointy, stabby bits on it. And what you do is you put it where your immunization is going to go and you put pressure on it. And so a bunch of these little pokies go into your skin and supposedly, it's supposed to make the shots hurt less when they go in. The girls say it works, so we hold on to it whenever they have to have immunizations. It's called a shot blocker. Really cool. All right, back to it. It got quiet. All right. So, Sunny, you're in New York currently, but you are moving to Michigan, correct? Is your whole family moving to Michigan or is it just you? Are you going for school? Or did your parents get new jobs? Because that's what it was for me when I was 16. My parents wanted a change. Um, they didn't want to live in Massachusetts anymore. I had an uncle who lived in North Carolina and he's like, you should move down here. Oh, I will. I plan on doing a video um, of my, like, market prep. So things that I have, things that I'll be um, using, I'll do a quick run of our, like, our tables once they're set up on Saturday also. Because, um, yeah, that's fun. Welcome back, Gianna. I'm glad you found some stuffing. <laughs> it's always the hard part, isn't it? Remembering where you put something, trying to find stuff that you're like, I know I put it right here. It just seems to have disappeared. It definitely happens. Also found some stuffing. Also, also what? 
tell me more. Where do you recommend getting yarn? Are you in the U.S.? And do you live in an area that has craft stores like Michael's or Joanne or... Those are my two go-tos, are Michael's and Joanne. Um, I have also gone to Walmart sparingly to see if they've got yarn. Um, where else do I go? I mean, my local Walmart. Yeah, you could go to your local Walmart. Um, they usually have a, like some yarn in the crafting section. Um, let's see here. But if you don't have a Michaels or a Joanne, um, those are like my go-tos, Michaels and Joanne. Walmart has yarn. Um, I recently did a video about a place called Ollie's. It's an overstock store and sometimes they have yarn, but it's not like a consistent selection. It's just what they get and they put it out there and it's, it's good yarn it, and it's cheap but it's not consistent. You can't go there consistently to get the yarn that you want. Um, for that, you'd have to go to like Michael's Joann's or Walmart if you live in an area that has them. Yes, that's right. My whole family is moving to Lansing, Michigan. Sorry, had to help my little sister with a math question. No worries. Um, so parents got new jobs, moved y'all, or moving y'all. Um, Hopefully your move is very smooth. Hopefully you're able to, to get back into the groove of school and find new friends and all that stuff. That helped a lot for me, having to leave all of my like current friends up in Massachusetts. And I was going into my junior year of high school um, when we moved and it was really hard. It was really difficult. Um, but yeah, just try your best to make friends and that kind of thing. Because friends are important. It was crazy culture shock for me when, when we moved here. Um, so I was going into my junior year and there were, let's say about 50 kids in my graduating class in the school that I was with. And um, yeah, we didn't have FaceTime when I was a kid <laughs> and long distance was a thing. <laughs> Showing my age. Um, but yeah, that is always good to be able to stay in contact with your buddies. Um, so yeah, the school that I went to, my graduating class was going to be about 50 kids. When we moved to North Carolina, the school that I ended up in, my graduating class was about 250 kids. It was a bananas change, like complete and utter just dropped into this school that was gigantic and oof, it was definitely different oh more friends in michigan that's awesome do you live anywhere near lansing cozy No. <laughs> Michigan's pretty big, isn't it? I feel like it's pretty big. It's the one, two parts. Two parts, right? There's the UP and then the, like the main, main part of Michigan. <laughs> my thinking, I'm thinking of the right state, right? Oh my God. Upper and lower. There we go. It was like the UP I know is Upper Peninsula and then there's the lower part, which is the Lower Peninsula, doy. Um, yeah, cool. 
the mitten stick. That's exactly how I got my daughter to remember Michigan mitten. So when she was learning her 50 states, I would give her, like, she'd be like, she had to learn the states and their capitals. And I'd be like, mitten. And she'd be like, Michigan. It's the only way I could get her to remember it. <laughs> Michigan mitten. Does look like a mitten, though. North Carolina just looks like the opposite of Virginia. And Massachusetts has a hook. All right, I finished the round, the one that I had to take out. I had to frog a whole round because I used my wrong hook. Lansing is an hour away from where I live. Well, that's not that far. Still a distance. Today I had to drive. So my daughter, my older daughter, works at the dance studio that my younger daughter goes to. And I was helping out with registration for next year for the dancers. Evie had work this morning, so I had to go bring her to work. She was there for about an hour and a half. My goodness, are y'all still there? I cannot believe that that is the second time that that has happened. Y'all good? YouTube is just messing with me tonight, I think. I've never been to a college football game. Hold on, maybe I should ask my dad to take me to a Michigan. That would be a cool experience. Good grief, guys. YouTube's messing with me tonight. I don't appreciate it at all. I'm being weird. Tickets are a bit expensive. Yeah, college football games. I feel like depending on who they're playing... I know, um, so I live right outside of Raleigh, and we've got th four, four huge colleges, like literally within an hour distance from us. We've got NC State, which is in Raleigh. We have UNC Chapel Hill, which is in Chapel Hill, which is to the west. We've got Duke over in Durham, and then we have Wake Forest. Um, and then we have some other smaller colleges all over the all over the state and if say nc state is playing duke the prices for tickets are bananas because everyone wants to go to the game it's crazy yeah Ooh. we have so many college choices between 85 and 485. Whew. That's pricey. That is pricey. Let it go. Come on. Isn't Virginia your rival, Amy? So I'm sitting here trying to think. Virginia is not really our rival. Like, I can't really think of NC State's rivalry is mainly with it, our local schools. So NC State rivals UNC, and they also rival Duke. We don't really have, like... It's not like the Boston Red Sox and the New York Yankees where they are like mortal enemies. Um, Virginia is just the state above us and we don't really, <laughs> it's not a big deal. Uh, but if Duke and state are playing, then all of the world's ending. 
or if a uh, state and UNC or UNC and Duke are playing. Those three schools are, they are mortal enemies. I'm a Michigan State fan. I'm an NC State fan for going college. Um, but my my pro uh, sports teams are the Boston Red Sox, the Boston Bruins, the Boston Celtics, and the New England Patriots. I am a full-on New England girl when it comes to pro ball or hockey. <laughs> I love me some Boston Red Sox, though. North Carolina doesn't really have a uh, a professional baseball team. Like the closest one is the Atlanta Braves. And I'm not driving to Atlanta for a game. I would rather take my money and go to Boston and go to Fenway Park and watch the Red Sox play. Um, we've got even know are the charlotte hornets still a thing i haven't heard much about them <laughs> yeah the charlotte hornets are still a thing that's that's good <laughs> it goes to show you how much i how much i pay attention to nba Do y'all have any, all right, I I'm also an Oklahoma Sooners football, Detroit Lions for football, New York, New York Liberty for the WNBA. I'm a huge Oklahoma Thunder fan for the NBA. Nice. Awesome, awesome. My favorite sport is baseball. We have, um, we have a team over in Durham called the Durham Bulls and they're like, I want to say it's like double a bat double a baseball so it's like the level right below pro pro ball um and we go and watch them once or twice a year and hang out for a game and usually it's on a friday and they do fireworks after the game which is really cool it's good stuff Do y'all have any, I know Cozy said what she likes for sports. Do, do y'all have any pro sport teams that you love the most? See, my daddy was a, a Red Sox fan and that turned me into a Red Sox fan. Can't go to a football or basketball games because it triggers my migraines. Oh, the lights it was just too bright and loud and all that mess. That's no fun. Um, this past weekend, I don't know if you watch women's college basketball, but I really feel bad for Caitlin Clark and Iowa. They made it to the championship game, but lost to South Carolina. Oh, that stinks. Yeah, our uh, NC State made it to the final four for the men's basketball. And they got, they got kicked out. They beat Duke and Duke is usually like up here. NC State doesn't usually make it that far if they even make it into the, you know, the top 16 teams at all. Um, oh, yep. I'll have to check into Caitlin Clark, but that, that really stinks that they lost to South Carolina. Um, but yeah, NC State lost and we felt it here in Raleigh. It was, everybody was very sad the next day. Here we go. getting there it needs to be 15 maybe 16 red Sox, yes um mm, yeah the red Sox and the yankees are mortal enemies they don't like each other at all 
uh, cozy right there with you with migraines. 33 year sufferer allergic to, tr oh, triptans. Mm, that stinks. Dude, migraines are not fun at all. I get random ones. Like, it's usually triggered by bright lights or, like, if my allergies are flaring up, a migraine will come on. I usually get the weird, like, halo in the, the peripheral vision area that, like, creeps into the main vision. Oh, and after that, usually it's like, boom, feels like your head just wants to explode. It's no fun. No fun. Yeah. Thunderclap migraines. Oh. Yowza. What was I going to look up? Oh. MLB standings. Let's see here. Yes. So the Yankees are ahead of the Red Sox. So the Yankees have 10 wins and two losses. And the Red Sox have seven wins and four losses. We'll just have to see what happens. Can't even go to concerts either. Oh, that's no fun. Like the last concert that I went to was New Kids on the Block. <laughs> it was two years ago. Was it 2022? It was 20. Or was it 20? No, it was 2022. I went and saw the new kids on the block and touched Jordan Knight's hand and then got COVID two days later. And I, I say I got COVID from Jordan Knight because I went to the concert with my best friend and um, she, uh, she didn't touch Jordan Knight. She didn't get COVID. So I swear I, the only difference that there was between me and her that night was I touched Jordan Knight and she didn't. And I got COVID and she didn't. Has your family ever been to a Patriots game before? Tom Brady will always be... Dude, he was, he's the GOAT. That's it. And yes, I have been to a Patriots game before. It was before we moved to North Carolina, so I was a teenager. But it was so much fun. Perfume, cigarette smoke, lots of foods, and no alcohol. Seen eight neurologists and no... Oh my gosh. Yeah, I, I've i quit drinking a few, like, I guess it was probably about six months ago. Because I was getting three-day-long migraines after having, like, two drinks. And I was like, okay, so I guess I'm just too old to drink. So I just quit drinking. I don't drink alcohol anymore. Um, and it's okay. I mean, they're... There are other ways to have fun. And my friends are really, really like accepting of it. We used to go to breweries and wineries and do all kinds of fun things, go to distilleries and see new stuff. Um, and yeah, the sulfates in wine are vicious. Um, but it's not just wine. I could have two beers over like a six hour period and end up with a three-day migraine like not being able to do anything just everything in here feels like it wants to explode out my face um the only thing that I have found that doesn't super trigger it but I don't want to drink it is uh vodka but I'm not even I'm not even big on hard liquor anymore um caffeine See, I don't know. I've not had caffeine trigger one for me. Um, I actually think Mahomes is catching up to Tom Brady. Mm, don't say that. <laughs> uh, 
Let's see, Tom Brady, was it eight rings? All right, has Tom Brady won? Seven, seven Super Bowls. Tom Brady won. Let's see how many Mahomes has won. He's only won three. <laughs> yeah, he ain't catching up. Right? Thank you. Get Mahomes out of here. <laughs> there is no way. Tom Brady has won seven Super Bowls. And mm -mm, no one's going to beat the GOAT. Ooh. <laughs> So there, there were some, I watched the Super Bowl this year. I usually, you know, watch for the halftime show and the commercials, but I actually watched the Super Bowl. I'm back, but my friend is going to call me back. No worries, Natalia. We're just hanging out here. Um, and here in a little bit, I think I'm probably going to have to jump because Lou has started to do her nightly boo-hoos at the door. Um I could give her like five more minutes, so she'll be fine. She's fine. Um, but yeah, he's got a lot more to a lot more to do. He's also a baby still, isn't he? He's little, twenty eight years old. So I mean, Tom Brady. I remember when Tom Brady like became the quarterback for the Patriots. It was after Drew Bledsoe. Um. Again, I was like 15 or 16 years old. It was right before we moved. And I remember being like, look at Tom Brady. All right, Wendy. I will see you next time, my dear. Thank you for hanging out with me this whole time. But yeah, it's Tom Brady. He's the goat forever and ever. All right, let's see here. All right, Lou has gotten louder. I think I might jump off, y'all. Yeah, all right. I am going to head out. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. I love y'all. And I will see you next time. Thank you for hanging. And yeah, I'll see y'all the next time. Jordan and LeBron thing. If LeBron, uh, da, 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 now we're talking. Bye. <laughs>